PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. We also invite and welcome anyone interested in taking care of their mental health to experience our content. We have provided some videos in the past on communication and social anxiety, but today we want to build on a similar theme and share a quick tip for dealing with people that may frustrate you with their behavior. We all have been frustrated by someone else's behavior and you may know someone who acts this way on a fairly consistent basis. Often it can be helpful to realize that some people have become accustomed in their life to operating in a certain way and behaving in another way doesn't come naturally to them. We've talked about the cognitive distortion in a previous video called should statements. Should statements are concentrating on what you think should or ought to be rather than the actual situation you're faced with or having rigid rules which you think should always apply no matter what the circumstances are. Often by relaxing this tendency it can make it a little easier to deal with such behavior of others. We aren't suggesting that others must always be excused of their behavior, but it can be helpful to have realistic expectations of someone else. This is because often people with ADHD can be easily provoked by others. Similarly, people with anxiety can, at times, be sensitive to behavior they consider offensive or upsetting. If you know someone who is good at pushing your buttons, it could be helpful to be aware of this fact so you can avoid being set up. For example, if you work with someone who makes sarcastic facial expressions in meetings, avoid sitting across from them. In other words, if you can avoid being provoked in the first place, it can be helpful in a variety of situations. This is just one example of something you can try and it could well be worth your time to brainstorm some ways that you can apply this tip. Now, there are many other techniques and strategies that we discuss in our free newsletter, which provides an overall approach to anxiety, stress, panic attacks, and ADHD. Please visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter. Thank you for watching and we look forward to presenting another video next week. Take care. PanicAttackRecovery.com